Boom, hey YouTube, it's me Nate Lovelady. So, today we're going to kind of discuss a little bit heavy of a topic. Um, I kind of just learned the number myself, and I was quite shocked, but um, today we're just going to kind of give our respects to the 64 souls that aren't with us anymore. The survivors that didn't make it, man. Um, if they could be here today, I'm sure they'd be ho holding their head high and happy about what was going on uh, with the process here. Um, you know, a lot, of, a lot of people, they got out of the program and they just couldn't handle the abuse, what happened to them. A lot of people, you know, a lot of, a lot of survivors, they felt, you know, ultimately betrayed by their parents and their families. And, they, and that was enough to really, really hurt them, uh, deeply, and, um, you know, there's, there's been cases, it's been many cases of suicide, drug addiction and overdose, you know, folks losing their battle with depression, um, you name it, and it's happened, and it's, it's, I'm sure it's still happening, um, I had heard a survivor's story, um, I can't remember, I can't place the exact facility. Uh, maybe, maybe Casa by the sea. It might have been Tranquility Bay, or it might have been Spring Creek Lodge. Any survivors from any of those WASP programs, correct me if I'm wrong, but um, I had read a survivor's testimony where a girl had leapt from the second story of the dorm um, directly under her head and basically killed herself. And in the process, they were getting towels and, and, and trying to help and do what they could. And um, the one survivor's testimony, she said she used that same towel uh, for the duration of, of her, of her um, imprisonment at, at the facility that she was locked up at. Just imagine that every day, man, you take that towel off the rack and it's stained with the person's blood that you were with every day. You got to know, you know, they were, uh, you know, that, that's really, really sick and twisted, man. It's really sick and twisted that not one person that was in charge either would be like, here's a new towel or here, anything for that matter. You know, it just, it blows my fucking mind. But ultimately, you know, this video uh, is for all the survivors, the survivors' families that are missing their loved one. Um, we're here, we're thinking about you, and really, at the end of the day, I think we're doing this for them, man. We need to show them that uh, we finally have a voice and somebody's listening. I love you all, guys. Short video. I'm working again. Um but we're going to keep talking. We're going to keep spreading awareness. We're going to keep advocating for justice. Justice will be served. Kill the program. The process will kill the program. Guys, over and out. Look at this. I got like a split thing going here. It's like, whoa, man, you can really see the gray in my beard. I don't like that. I'm getting older as well, man. Grayer and grayer every day. Ah, oh, Lord. Well... Guys, I love you all. Survivors, love all you guys. Much respect. And the families, all you survivors up there in the universe looking down on us, you know, we're doing this for you. And we're going to get you the fucking justice you deserve, man. And I fucking, I fucking mean that. It's coming. The justice is coming. These people are going to be put away and they're going to get locked up. Guys, love you all.